Welcome to the fourth in my series of introductions to InfoPath 2007. In previous demos, I've shown an example of the capabilities of InfoPath and how easy it is to create forms and set up complex submit rules. Now I'm going to talk about the potential for combining InfoPath with other Microsoft technologies to create browser-enabled forms. Browser-enabled forms are a new feature of InfoPath 2007 that significantly increases its value by allowing users to fill out forms within an internet browser. This means that only the form creators need to have InfoPath installed on their computers, reducing the cost of a company-wide InfoPath solution. Other users can access the forms, fill them out and see the results from any computer that has an internet browser. To be able to use this capability, you need to have InfoPath Form Server installed. Form Server can be purchased on its own, or it is included in the enterprise version of Microsoft Office SharePoint Server 2007. There are also Internet Connector licenses if you want to deploy forms on an external facing website. There are some features of InfoPath 2007 which are not available in browser enabled forms. Examples of these are things like being able to include large images in rich text boxes and data connections to access databases that are on an individual computer. A full list can be found on the InfoPath product homepage. In InfoPath, one of the options on the design menu is Design Checker. This makes it easy to be sure that a form template you've designed will work with the compatibility settings you've chosen. This form template is compatible with InfoPath and InfoPath form services. So this form will work in a browser, as well as within the InfoPath client. By default, form templates are set to be compatible with just InfoPath 2007. You can easily adjust settings by clicking on the link for change compatibility settings. It's just a matter of selecting or deselecting checkboxes to decide whether you want the form to be browser enabled or not. If you've selected your form to be capable of being filled out in a browser, you will not be able to include features in the template that aren't supported. However, if you design your form template while it's set to be compatible only with InfoPath 2007 and then change the compatibility settings, it's possible you will have included in the template some features which can't be used in the browser. In this case, you will see errors and messages in this list down here. With this example, there is a message regarding dialog boxes. I've set up this form to show the user a customized warning when they enter invalid data in certain fields. When the form is opened in the browser, these dialog boxes will not open even though the data validation works as it should. This is shown as a message rather than an error because this compatibility will have no effect on the main functionality of the form. This is the same form I used in my first demo. If you want to look at how it worked in InfoPath Client, you can go and have another look at that video. Now I'll show you how it runs in a browser. This is a form library within SharePoint. I have set up this library to have as its associated document template the form I was just showing you. If I click on New, it will open up a template. As before, note that several fields have been filled out for me. This is because the form is linking to a SharePoint list, bringing data in and filtering it based on my username. Within Internet Explorer, I can fill out fields. As before, InfoPath is performing arithmetic on the values entered using functions in the template. And as before, when I click on the date field, I get a date picker. If I choose a date in the future, I get a validation error. In the InfoPath client, this is where I would get a message box telling me what's wrong. If I hover over the field, I still get an explanation for the warning even in the browser. I have the same capabilities for repeating tables and conditional formatting that I had in the previous version.
I have the same rich controls and the ability to populate lists with values from sources outside the form. And I have the same submit options. My demo is working and I now have a new item in my document library. So far I've shown you the capabilities of InfoPath Forms within Internet Explorer. But Form Services doesn't work exclusively with Microsoft browsers. If I switch to Firefox, you will see the same form library. If I click on the last entry, this will open up the form I just created. As before, I can enter data in this form. But not all the functionality is carried across. There is no date picker control in Firefox. However, I still have the ability to enter information in this field and I have the same data validation options. So despite the fact that the control is not completely supported in Firefox, you can still use the form and get the same data validation as if it were. InfoPath works at its best with Internet Explorer, but you can still use browser-enabled forms in Firefox, Safari and other major browsers, meaning you can fill out InfoPath forms even if you're on a computer that's not running Windows.